Kind of led to the Juggernaut ban and, the, and uh, Faceless thinking that they yeah. would go ahead and take the Juggernaut, but I'm not sure the options left for... Wanted to be able to get a lot cheap in that first night. We may actually have to put this on hold. We're having a current rotation coming out from Faceless here. Smoke set up between Nuts and XY, and they're looking to make the move on SCCC, and they're going to be able to get it with the help of Jabs coming out with the laser and the rockets. They will get it done. Rotations do come out as Faith shows up on his from the laning stage. But here we go, Ice 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 on that first nightfall. Look at it, he's actually gonna catch the courier right behind and he'll be able to bring it down. Nice grab there. Kaka though is gonna be able to connect with the hook and pull the Batman right under the tower. And more rotations are coming. KP shows up, launches out the rocket to help maintain vision and Faith will be there to finish him off. Yeah, uh, he didn't uh, have eyes on the courier. He just tried to dive the tower. Maybe they could have waited. Uh... Oh, oh, nice cook. Right at the end of the rope there. They're going to get the grab pullback on Jabs, and he is done for. Good setup from Kaka. Kind of just get the courier taken down. You get money a little bit to everyone on the team, and, of course, Shadow Fiend is not going to have access to it. Yeah, he could have run top instead uh, because the uh, clock doesn't threaten him. Faith's him. done for. Yeah. Uh oh Wow. <laughs> they just have to make the most out of it. Looks like he's going to be tagging that shrine and going out for a new adventure, possibly through and through that mid lane. But top lane, we got the Kaka pullback onto Nuts, and he is stuck in the enemy side and going to be taken advantage of by three newbie members. Nice takedown once again for newbie, and they will pull ahead three to two. This punch is all over the place. Top mid, oh, mid lane. Yeah, good rotation in. We already discussed Ice 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 making that long rotation over, and it's going to prove to be successful. If you're playing uh, with Shadowfin or Tinker in your team, you expect to have some stacks. Head on collision between the support staff of both sides as they smoke and meet one on one, and it's going to be XY who gets shredded apart first. They're looking for nuts, but it's KP jumping the ropes and going for jabs on the back lines instead. He's trapped under the tower right now and eating the March of Machines, but they are going to be able to get the takedown to jabs. A very worthy one. Nuts able to help get the finish, at least on the KP, but SCCC will claim the triple kill. Cleaning house. New block work. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, deep fourth place. And they've spotted Jabs. He simply stepped away from the middle lane. He is going to be able to tag their shrine, but they might have too much bursting power for him. Or do they? They finally will be able to bring him down. The Pudge manages to get the deny off. Black tries to move into action, but he ends up losing his own. They're very good. <laughs> That's a very rich team right there. Uh, okay, here we go. Hoop shot. Yep, catching uh, Ice 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 here. Trapped within the cogs of the battery salt. He's doing the uh, death dance, you can call it. SCCC shows up. Oh, when you have a good start, you can go for Midas. Uh, even if you have a bad start, you can still go for Midas. It's also good. Oh no, it's going to be Faith this time to drop. He heads up kind of aggressively into the face of three members there. Five, though, already for Newbie. Another hook. Yeah, and it gets good connection once again. KP on fire with his setups right now, and SCCC doing a wonderful job KSing it all. That's trying to move through the trees. The hook not going to be there. Faith trying to get close enough to go for the telekinesis. I don't think that's just going to find a way out. Eventually, he finds the dead end. They will move in with the telekinesis and help get the finish. Faith will pick that one up with a fade bolt. Definitely looking a bit more sharp. Well, uh, a lot of people would agree. Uh, okay, there's a go on the clopper for mid. The big bad night stalker with bloodlust moving in. That guy looks vicious. Flying his way onto the little clockwork. Whoa! Hey, look at that man fly. It's so scary. Up and above, they are going to be able to get KP. But do side do. Faceless around the corner, and they're going to take the shift all the way down to the bottom. They see Moogie here. Can they bring him down? They got him with the silence. He's going to try to linger around and maybe go for an invest to save himself. Jabs also steps into play. He has those boots to travel. Moogie tries to shrug it off at the back end of a rage, but now finally it's going to be Faceless who outnumber Newbie, but suddenly the Newbie gang show up, and they're going to get a quick snag and takedown of the troll. And now it's going to be swinging for the fences. SCCC digits out the Requiem and is going to be able to take down the Ogre. Now moving through the skies, it's going to be Whoa. Daryl! Blast and finishes off the SCCC. He's going to be securing the double kill for himself. Kaka also very low and on the run, but Daryl is a man chasing. Moving in, sees KP, begins to take him down. Faith trying his best to body block him. Don't do this to my friend! And he's doing it. Moving on in, KP He's going to die. Oh! Ends up getting dropped the hook. Not quite there from Kaka to bail him out. And now it's going to be Ice 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 moving in. This is technically an ultra kill. Two double kills. 
for Ice 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 in that fight. Back towards the mid lane, newbies rotating in after they hit the tier one bottom. They see opportunities to maybe get the jump onto Black. He can't quite sidestep the hook shot. It's gonna be there for KP, so they trap him within. He pops out the blade mail, and instantly Black. He should be able to get it. Oh, they dish out the burst of speed and, and juke it within the trees. He sees it there now and moves in and gets it anyways. But can he make it out with his life? Ah, he has no TP. Eight Run, man. Cool. He can uh, force out someone when the clockwork goes in. All right. There goes the Nightfall now. And quickly, Ice 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 gets into action. The Telekinesis Lift's going to be there for Faith to try to slow them down a bit. Jazz is hiding within the trees. The rockets continue to fly, but... Kaka can shrug off a lot of that damage now with the benefit of that hood. Will not be dropped. Now the rest of the newbie members are getting rotated over. KP not able to get the catch of the hookshot on that one. So Moogie pops out, begins to go to work onto XY. He gets a helpful four staff and makes a bit of space for himself. The March of Machines laid on out with the Macro Pyre is making an uncomfortable fighting area for newbies. So they're going to be forced to retreat here. Meanwhile, Black gets the catch on the KP and will help finish him off. And newbie begin scooting themselves back. They're forced to kind of be sat up on this high ground because that's their best advantage. But now they're going to be dishing out the BKB Requiem. Daryl heads out the other direction. But this BKB popped. It's going to be Black trying to move into action, but he's locked in place. It can't seem to begin swinging, but now he finds Faith. Begins to make his move in. KP tries to help out and drops down the cogs in his blade mail, but it's finally going to help get the takedown of Black. Meanwhile, though, it's SSCCC. Trapped within the ice path will ultimately get popped. And it's going to be Daryl just slashing away and going at Moogie here. But Moogie winning the man fight on this one. Can Nuts help out Ice 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 here? It looks like they can. They lay down the ice path, begin to dish out the stun power, and they will slowly bring down Team Newbie. It's faceless on this fight, taking it a four for... Take a fight before they want to take it. So you think. Black runs right in and says, I'm yeah. going to take it right now. But they get the hook from the high ground on the other side. But... Ice 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 just gobbles up the punch like he's no problem at all. Almost welcomes the idea of being pulled into a fight. SCCC squares up with him a bit and decides to run out the other direction. The four newbie members stuck on one side of the high ground here. Could be forced to fight through a very awkward, but... Faceless okay, so get back into work going into the Roche here. And just the supports are able to zone back newbie and prevent them from making it inside. KP could be trying to line up a hook to throw himself in there and disrupt this as much as possible. Okay, but he decides to make the jump. It's going to be on the jab to get the laser up to Faith, but can't quite get the finish. The Macro Pyre now going to be dropped as both Moogie and SCC try to get themselves into the fight to get the right clicks out. It's going to be Ice 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 and Black on one side. Black managed to get the takedown of Roche and grab of the Aegis. Turns around and begins to take it to Moogie. Moogie eating a lot of damage on the back end will finally be brought down. And they're not done yet. They're going to be moving on forward. Can they get a grab of SCCC? Beautiful ice path going to be there to trap him in place. And Black will get the finish. Pudge comes back into the fight, but goes down just as fast. This fight continues to belong to control them so they can't really get into the Roche pit. The zoning potential of Faceless during that Roche fight was just so nice. It just made it so uncomfortable for Newbie to be able to creep in and get any sort of head start. And now look where we are. Suddenly the Tier 3 is down, and they're about to lose a Rax. This SCCC Shadow Fiend is still going to be on the sidelines for nearly 10 seconds. And mid racks are gone. Just like that. We are into a 17k net worth advantage Faceless. Time to kill a Shrine. Eight. Ooh, Faceless. They never suspect them to just kind of run themselves back through the mid lane again. They have to send you down. They know they're safe. He immediately makes the Bash. move for Faith. And Faith is gone. See you later, TI Champion. Whoa. Punch is going to be going down too. And for newbie here and they're going to be forced to dish out a buyback onto faith to help out with this defense black already going to work onto this tier three it does not stand much of a chance now going to be dragged into action here sccc looking to go for the requiem but black doesn't care he's got a black king bar easily shrugs it off and just begins to chop away at everybody get the hell out of the way this troll's going to work him and the night stalker have been just an absolutely fearsome duo in this game it is frightening GG is called. Uh, I must say, this uh, Night Stalker pick that was right out of that book. That was out of that Night Stalker book. It's funny because I was.